guys, today I'm doing a story slash opinion video. I love storytelling videos, I love to watch them, I love to make more of my own, but as you guys all know, my life is pretty boring. So every time, whenever anything interesting or worth making video pops up, I'll make sure to make a video about it. By the way, did you guys check out my necklaces? I launched my own jewelry line, I'm so excited. So if you want to see more, I'll definitely leave a link down below. So this is a little story or maybe Maybe just a little anecdote that happened a few months ago when Toledo collection from MAC came out. Do you guys remember uh, this collection? So I was absolutely fascinated by the packaging. I mean, like this painting is just really abstract and really cool. Something that I would definitely, definitely love to spend some money on. So I was very, very excited beforehand uh, for the collection. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get so many things from the collection. So um, on the day of the launch, or maybe just a couple of days later, I went to the department store that I go to a lot. Uh, there's a Mac store on the first floor. So I was all happy, like, yay, MAC collection, I'm spending money. So I went to the store and I walked in and there were quite a couple of like uh, makeup artists there. And there's this really, really nice, kind of short and very feminine guy, um, MAC makeup artist. He kind of came up to me and he was like, hey, how are you? He was really, really friendly. I kind of assumed that he's gay because he's just super nice and his makeup was just freaking on point. He was very polite, he was very sweet, I really really loved him. So he was like, oh how are you? So what are you looking for? We have a new collection came out called Toledo. So he and I, we kind of chatted, we were talking about, you know, so many different makeup things and everything and I wanted to try some lipsticks because uh, some of the lipsticks from uh, this Toledo collection was really really pretty. And I don't remember what I tried, but I just kind of reached for this specific color of lipstick. And um, I said, oh, this is such a pretty color. I want to try it. And as soon as I tried it, no, as soon as I said it, he was like, oh, no, honey. <laughs> so I was kind of like bummed. He was like, no, honey. So I was like, why? He said, that's a Caucasian color. That's a color for white people. And I was like, whoa 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 what's going on now what are you saying what 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 are you talking about you know uh, I don't think that he's a racist or he was being offensive um, it's just I don't know like there may be some colors that suit better on certain races and certain complexions but that absolutely made no sense to me so I was like what do you mean it's a Caucasian color what do you mean it's a white people color everybody can wear anything you know and he was like oh honey no it looks the best on white people we're not white so <laughs> um, it's better to go for this color other color that I absolutely cannot remember and I was like yeah well maybe but I want to try that color that Caucasian color and he was like oh really it's not going to be pretty you know I'm telling you it's not going to be pretty um, and I was like no I'm gonna try so I kind of tried it and I kind of liked it um, I don't think it was this color though um, I don't remember and I was just kind of like, I don't know, like at first I was a little mad that his first reaction was, honey, that's a white color, white people color, you know? Um, I don't, I don't think it's him being racist or being really like, you know, condescending and really snobby. I think it's just his perception, like put in in the wrong way. And I think it's the education that makeup companies do to their employees they may I don't know I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm just saying maybe they're saying oh this is a color that suits best on certain people this is the color that suits best on these kind of people I don't know I don't know what they do in the makeup companies in their like educational uh, programs but it really made me mad not at him but for I don't know the companies and the society and the media and everything it makes me so mad so, what do you guys think? I mean, I, I absolutely don't get it. So, and I also think it's kind of like, I don't know, I, I think it's not right to say that this is a color for like Caucasian people, this is a color for Asian people, this is a color for black people, like Spanish people, I don't know. 
Also, I was slightly disappointed by Matt because I mean, maybe that's just his, you know, own personal opinion. Maybe not. I don't know. But Mac is one of the wildest and the most like free spirited makeup companies out on the market. And um, I always look at the posters and like the lookbooks and everything from Mac, and I get so inspired. They're not afraid to use, you know, really, really vibrant, really like crazy, insane colors, and that's what I like about Mac. And for a uh, MAC makeup artist to say something like that, oh honey, you can't wear this. I'm like, come on, you're MAC. You're supposed to be really awesome. You're supposed to be badass. And why are you being afraid of so many things? Maybe if you're a makeup beginner and you don't know nothing about makeup and somebody says, oh, that's a black people color. That's a white people color. You're Asian, you should wear this. Maybe that might not strike you as like, whoa, but I am kind of person who loves makeup, who loves to play with all sorts of different colors and textures and everything. And for somebody to say certain things like that, you can't wear that, that's a Caucasian color. I was like really really mad. Why do people think that there's certain colors for certain races? Like if that's true, I'm like I'm so disappointed in people and the society and the media and everybody else on the surface of earth. I don't know. Like that was like really really demoralizing to me. I was like oh, what are you saying? I can absolutely wear anything I want to wear, you know? I think this is why media and people and education is so scary. Because people get swayed by other people's opinions and, you know, broadcasts and everything. And if somebody says, oh, this is a color for this people. If you're not this people, you can't wear this. If you are a very opinionated person, then you can go and say, oh, you know, F you, I can do whatever I want. But I feel like majority of the people are like, oh, really? Oh, is that true? So they kind of go with that. So like this is how communism came out. I don't know. So um, if you ever think that there's a color that you cannot pull just because you're Asian, just because you're, I don't know, black, white, whatever. I mean, you're getting it wrong. You can absolutely rock any color you want as long as you mix it with the right colors, the right textures, and the right formula. You can absolutely rock whatever makeup you want. Maybe I'm a ballsy person when it comes to makeup. I try, I don't get intimidated by vibrant and vivid colors. I get excited. So maybe that's because I'm like such a makeup addict, but even if you're not a makeup addict, even if you're just a regular, just a you know basic makeup wearer, um, don't think for a second that you can't wear this or you can do this and this and that because you're a certain race or because you're cer you have certain complexion and skin color. So that was a little anecdote that happened a couple of months ago and I made this video because I want to know your opinions. What do you guys think? If somebody says, oh, you can't wear this color because you're Asian, because you're white, because you're black, whatever, what do you think? How would you feel and how would you react? Would you just go say, what do you mean? No, I can absolutely rock it. Or would you say, oh really? Oh, okay. Or I don't know. What do you guys think? Please let me know down in the comment section so we can exchange our opinions and just talk it out on the comment section. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!